What's going on YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I figured that I'd get on here and uh, share my coming out story since everybody wanted to know how most of y'all know that I have a 16 year old little girl. And so basically I came out after she was born. But um, since I can remember it or whatnot, being gay high, I always had an attraction towards females. You know what I'm saying? Be playing sports and, you know what I'm saying? Trying to show out, you know what I'm saying? In front of, you know what I'm saying? The girls is outside and, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be more acrobatic, more spontaneous, more just just acting a fool out on basketball courts, um, football fields, baseball fields. And, yeah, I, I got pregnant at the age of 16. And you know what I'm saying by a dude that uh I was talking to because at the point in time you know what I'm saying being involved in homosexual acts was not accepted down here where I stay at in, in uh, Tennessee. And I remember watching the news and you know what I'm saying and you know, people was getting like killed like right around the town with the Matthew Shepherd, uh uh, uh, I forgot the girl, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, boys don't cry. Also, you know what I'm saying. Um, Fort Campbell Army Base. They had a killing here too, right around the time I came out. The dude was dragging a transgender, and that's based on the true story too. Yeah, if y'all ever get a time, go check out the movie Soldier's Girl. It, it took place here in my hometown. Real talk. But yeah, so um. After I had my child, I we had moved to uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. After I moved from after I moved from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, I moved to Sanford, North Carolina, which is on the outskirts of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And when I moved there, I remember my first day of school. I'm I'm, I'm looking around and I see nothing but studs. You know what I'm saying? I'm going going down the hallway. I see nothing but girls kissing on other girls and. You know what I'm saying? I remember going to one of my classes and I was in class with two uh two studs and so I was already I was dressing in boy clothes but my clothes was tight fitting on me because my mother would not allow me to go out the house like that. So yeah, if I wanted to wear boy clothes, please believe the boy clothes had to fit on me properly. But you know what I'm saying? So the girl who was in class and I remember the girl asking me, you know what I'm saying, was I gay? And you know what I'm saying? And I denied it. You know what I'm saying? At first I was like, gay, what are you talking about? And so, you know what I'm saying, as as the school year went on and I got my first girlfriend and this is funny, like I didn't date three girls with this damn name. So I know when I started dating her that you know what I'm saying that name Stephanie was must be attached to me some type of way. But yeah, I, I dated her and yeah, we didn't go too far. You know how high school, you know what I'm saying, romances go. We didn't go that far. And then I um, <clears throat> started dating another girl and her name was Ayana. And that's, you know what I'm saying, because when I first came out, I was, you couldn't touch me. You know what I'm saying, not at all. You know what I'm saying, I didn't like head, didn't like didn't like my breasts, you know what I'm saying, found with. I didn't like didn't 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 like none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was what the term they use, a touch me not. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and the girl Aon that I was dating, she was the first one to sit there and said, Look here, motherfucker. I like to eat Oh milk, no. You, know what I'm saying? And, and you don't like to get hit. I can't fuck with you. So, you know what I'm saying? She was the first girl that actually gave me head. But uh, with me coming out to my to my folks, my my parents, uh, my mom, my mom didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? My my dad my dad found out because one day I was uh, dating a female and me and her got into an argument and I guess my father had picked up the phone and heard me arguing with the with the girl and you know what I'm saying I can remember I, I guess he always kind of figured that 
I was going to end up turning like that. Because I remember growing up, and he used to call me the nickname of Timothy. Look, Timothy, come here. And, you know what I'm saying, when people used to come around, he'd be like, you know what I'm saying, he got three sons, and, you know what I'm saying, that would be my two brothers and me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the oldest out of three. Well, four. I'm the oldest out of four. I have a uh, brother that is 32. I have another brother that is 29. And I have another brother that is 12. But, um, yeah. I mean, my dad, my stepfather, he was my stepfather. He was he was cool with it. That was our little secret. But when my mom found out and my grandfather and you know what I'm saying, oh man, that that was hell to be reckoned with. I remember when my mom found out because I had left some letters. You know how back when you was in school back in, you know what I'm saying, the early two thousands and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? You used to keep your little love letters. Well I had a binder full of love letters from different girls. I mean this binder was thick. And I don't know how I left it on my bed because, you know what I'm saying, you know how black parents are. They got to go through your room and search through every last thing that you own. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, I guess my mama went to my room because I probably left it a mess that morning or something, you know what I'm saying, on my way to school. But when I came home, the letters was taken. My mom was sitting in the living room with that, you know what I'm saying, it, it, you know what I'm saying, I was called... From 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 is when she actually was like, you know what I'm saying, you are who you are and there's nothing I can do about it. But I was I was called by my mother all type of dykes, bull, bull dyking, bull dyking whores, uh, just everything, every derogatory term that you can use to describe a lesbian, I was called that by my mother and my grandfather. They was not cool with it whatsoever. I, and you know what I'm saying? With me, now that I look back on it, with me being the only girl, and you know what I'm saying? That hurts a mother to their, their heart. You know what I'm saying? For the only, you know what I'm saying? Your firstborn, your firstborn, the, 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 the daughter that you praise so much that, you know what I'm saying, end up liking girls like you know what I'm saying my my grandmother she's a preacher and I remember her telling me one day that she she is she, she doesn't accept the fact that I'm gay but if I'm gay then dress like a female and I was like grandmother that's not me you know what I'm saying I, I like being in, in boy clothes it's what I'm it's what I'm comfortable in and you know what I'm saying and, and, and yeah but um, at that point in time, when my stepfather and my mother and them find out, like I was, I was staying. Uh, I wasn't back yet here in my hometown, cause you know, say we was a military family, so we moved a lot. But when I got back to my hometown, oh man, all oh, hell hit the fan. Like I remember staying with my grandmother when we came back, and like. I don't know what it is, but nobody in my family trusted me around them. Like, they thought that I was looking at them in nasty ways. Every, you know what I'm saying, everything. Like, you know what I'm saying, no parents wanted me around their kids. You know what I'm saying, their female daughters. You know what I'm saying, it's just, I, I went through so much, you know what I'm saying, actually coming out. And then my, my father's side of the family, and you know what I'm saying, it was never spoke up on, but I, um, I had an auntie, and you know what I'm saying, and she was cool with it. May God rest her soul. She was cool with it. I remember her telling me one day that if she liked it, I loved it. And you know what I'm saying. And you know how you, when you meet somebody, you always want to take them to your mom and stuff like that. So you know what I'm saying. Well. <clears throat> Males have this thing that, you know what I'm saying, they like to introduce the person that they dated with to their family. But I never could bring girls to my mom. So I always used to bring her to my, the girls to my auntie. And, you know what I'm saying, my auntie used to get in the third degree and whatnot. And my auntie would tell them in a heartbeat, you're, you're not right for my niece, so get your shit and get the fuck out of my house. And, you know what I'm saying, go on about your business. 
And so, uh, yeah. And basically, you know what I'm saying, now until to this day, and you know what I'm saying, my family, they cool with it. You know what I'm saying? In a sense, but in a sense, they're not cool with it because, you know what I'm saying, I am who I am at the end of the day, and it doesn't make, my sexuality does not make who I am. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I'm still in Tanisha. You know what I'm saying? Nisha. I'm still in my mother's daughter, my daughter's mom, and, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. I mean, um, I'm, I'm happy about sharing my, my coming out story with y'all, and yeah, I mean that I don't, I don't have nothing else to to speak on that about. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoyed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, if y'all got any questions, anything that y'all want to know that I didn't address in this coming out video, please put it in the comment box below, and you know what I'm saying? And I share it with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like I said. Uh, when we decided to share our world, we was not going to hold anything back. So everything that y'all get is 100% true, raw, uncut, unfiltered, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just us, you know what I'm saying? Like it or love it. Y'all have a nice day. I'll holler at y'all. Peace. Steak, eggs, motherfucker, a big ass, juicy ass, took bomb. Uh, she fixed me and my daddy a full course meal and whatnot. My daddy said, You better keep. I said,